welcome to the computer networks course um, in this video we will learn all about the computer networks and the internet and in this video this is the first video of um, the series of video for um, introduction of computer networks we will learn about um, the internet definition so the question the first Socratic question for this video is what is internet well uh, in this video in this first video the the goals um, the goal for this for today's learning is to get a, a big picture a view of what is the, the actual um, uh, topics in computer networks and the internet so basically we will learn uh, many more about terminology and also the definition and uh, going through the chapters chapter 2 3 4 and etc we will learn more depth more detail about uh, what is the actual topics for these computer networks okay so uh, let me explain the overview or the roadmap for uh, our our course for this semester the first part of this chapter we will learn about um, the definition of the internet and also the definition of the protocol so what is the actual the internet uh, means uh, what's the relation between computer networks and the internet and also what is the actual protocol the computer protocol or the network protocol means um, later on we'll also learn about the network age age you know age mean um, the age of the network so what what is defined by the age we will learn about um, this age later in on uh, the next video and the, th the third part of this um, introduction part we will also learn about the core of the computer networks then followed by um, the lecture about performance so you will be expected to to be able to um, calculate the performance of the uh, particular computer networks uh, then we also uh, will discuss about the protocol layers so what is the layers well the computer networks consist of several layers so the question was uh, why is divided into layers why what's the importance of being separated into layers and 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 all all kind of um, the protocols and services defined by by each layer uh, then we also uh, we we'll learn about the security, how to secure the computer networks, and last but not least, we will learn about history. Uh, we, uh, as as we know that um, this internet has been around for like more than around thirty years or so, so we we'll learn what happened in uh, within these thirty years of um, development of, of the computer networks and the internet. So let's begin our our discussion on the first topic what is the, the internet so um, in this case we will see the internet from different perspective the first perspective that that we will um, discuss is the nuts and bolts perspective of the internet so in this perspective you can see that the internet consists of several um, computing devices that interconnected with within each other uh, these computing devices can can also um, being called by host or end systems and within this host within this end systems uh, uh, there will uh, there are some uh, applications running on top of it in which this application uh, communicated within within um, the particular devices and also communicate between uh, the, the, the actual application within one host to another application in the other host so that's the idea of the internet uh, in the middle of this um, network there are packet switches uh, if you see the, the 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 round thing with cross in the middle it's called um, the routers the routers is uh, tools that connecting the edges connecting the holes within each other and because of those um, routers, the package from one host from one devices can be sent through the internet and arriving to the other side. And the uh, one another important thing of the this network is the link. Uh, if there are no links, 
that connect the routers and also the edges the packet or the um, the data will not be transmitted uh, to the other to the, the other end of the edge so these three are uh, the, the the nuts and bolts that connected each other and built the internet as, as computer networks okay and from this network of networks we can separate a network into a small smaller set of a network so basically the internet can be divided into smaller networks in which each network uh, are managed by for example uh, offices or maybe also the residential area as well as in your in your house uh, you will have a small uh, home unit network which consists of um, one router and also several de devices well in this slide i will um, show you several internet connected devices in which maybe you have um, use it now and also maybe you you, you plan to use it uh, somewhere in the future um, the internet phones maybe you have some gaming devices well it's very common i i, I think you all might have i'm um, using these gaming devices tv uh, fridges security camera um and so many things um so many fun uh, in in uh, devices that that has been connected through the internet smart watches and also now um cars scooters and also these interesting devices web enable toaster and weather forecaster and what else maybe you can uh, mention several devices that hasn't been um uh, showed in this slide but well you have actually used it for several times okay so from there that discussion the nuts and bolts discussion we can um, conclude that the internet is kind of network of networks there are interconnected networks and interconnected isp isp is internet service provider isp is the one that own the core network so because of them we can connect to each other from indonesia to australia united states hong kong japan and singapore and all um, country around the world how can they communicate each other? How can the end system communicate each other? There are protocols. So protocols is a set of instruction that maintain, that manage the communication between end system, uh, between hosts from different networks. But what is the example of the protocols? For example, there are HTTP. It is a protocol that, uh, that manage the communication between web server and web client, your browsers. They have to implement and support the HTTP protocol to be able to communicate uh, within each uh, from each other. And there are many protocols, still many protocols for video conferencing, telephone, and all. And we will learn about this protocol in this um, computer networks course. And how this protocol is defined? So this protocol has been becoming um, standard, and it is uh, standardized by an organization called IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force, in which um, documented all these protocols into a, a special document called RFC, Request for Comments Document. So uh, whenever you, he you heard uh, about a particular protocol, you can refer this, this, the information about these protocols into this RFC document. Beside nuts and bolts perspective of internet, we will also learn the internet from the services perspective. So from this perspective, we can see that internet is an infrastructure that provides several services to the applications. So any kind of application you build as um, a programmer or as a software developer, will use the services provided by the protocols within the internet, within the computer networks so that the application can communicate with another application uh, that located within different servers, different geographical area, and different networks. So what's the actual services being provided by this um, internet? So basically they provide the programming interface that allow your application to hook into the network 
send message, receive um, the message, and many time many kind uh, of communication communication uh, aspect between two applications. That is the internet, uh, a simple explanation of the internet. And the next inf uh, the next discussion we will learn about the protocol. Simple idea: what is um, the protocol? How it's defined and how it actually works. So uh, before we are going to computer networks protocol, we will learn about human protocol. Like if you want to ask the time, there will be a set of instructions that you have to follow. For example, uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, good morning, good morning. Can, uh, can I know what time is it? Oh, it's two o'clock. That's kind of human protocol that um, define how if you ask a stranger for a particular time. So basically, it 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 uh, it rolls or it manages several specific message being sent, specific message being re received, and the action taken between the message and many things uh, of that kind of set of instruction. Um, and also the net the network the computer networks also need some protocols if they want to communicate between um, the host, the end system or the host. So we can conclude that protocols define the format, the order, and also the messages sent and received among network entities and actions taken on message transmission. Now let, let's see the um, simple diagram on how humans communicating using a, a kind of a protocol and also how the, the network, the computer networks communicating each other using a set of pro, a set protocol. For example, there are two people want to ask time. The first, the first um, girl say hi and the boy say hi, go to time, or it's two o'clock. Uh, what, what kind of other human protocols that can you think of? You have to think. Now I will um, show you how the computer communicating between each other using some kind of protocol. This is the TCP protocol used by client and server on accessing a particular website. TCP connection request, TCP connection re response, asking a particular file, sending the particular file. So these are the example of protocol uh, within the computer networks. We will learn more about this protocol in the next video. See you in the next video.